You know, a lot of the stuff that I do on this show is actually real hypnotic routines. And I'd have to say that if you're going to try and do this stuff, please study it. Please learn it. You can even get certified pretty easily if you just look on the web. So do me the favor and don't mess with some people's minds. Be mentally hip. How's it going? Good. Um, my name's Paul. Um, what's yours? I'm kind of shooting something, and I was wondering if you wouldn't mind being involved. Sure. Is that okay? Yeah. You mind if I sit down? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Thanks. Uh -huh. So I really want to thank you for letting me like sit down with you and hang out for a minute. Yeah. Cool. Um, so basically, I want to explain to you what hypnosis is and what it's not so people can understand what's really going on. So there's five levels of consciousness, okay? Uh, that would be alpha, beta, theta, delta, and zeta. Alpha would be that of being on drugs or alcohol. Uh, beta is that of what would be considered a conscious wave, a conscious wavelength. Um, theta has three levels to it. The first level would be that of uh, a daydreamer, somebody who's easily able to slip out. The second would be uh, what would be considered somnambulistic sleep's first level, which is where you drive a car for a long period of time, maybe 30 or 40 minutes, but you don't remember any of the situation or what was going on. Yeah, go ahead, ring your phone. So it's kind of like you zone out. Yeah, you kind of zone out. It's, so it's a, it's a deeper level of daydreaming, if you will. And then the next level after that would be um, basically what would be considered somnambulistic sleep. So a trance-like, zen-like, meditative state. Okay, we're going to try and see how susceptible you are to hypnosis. Is that fair? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So uh, if you don't mind, just place your hands together like this for me. And what I want you to do is press your hands tight, tight together, really, really tight together. But I want you just to release these two fingers, everything else really, really tight, everything else really, really tight. And I want you to imagine that I'm putting a string here and a piece of string here, and that I can actually get the string to come closer and closer together. And as I pull that string tighter and tighter, your fingers get closer and closer together, and you allow that to happen as it gets closer and closer, and when it closes and touches, your eyes close, your eyes close, and you just start to relax. You start to let yourself go, and you let your hands relax and come down, and your hands start to come apart. And as they do, your hands come down. And when your hands touch the table, you go into a deep, deep state of sleep. Sleep down deep, deep, deep into that relaxation. Even more and more now, as you listen to the sound of my voice, going deeper and deeper into that state, knowing that even if I speak very rapidly or very softly, every single word that I speak goes into your mind. As I let go of my hands on top of your hands, you are going to be in a deep, deep state of sleep, feeling relaxed and calm, feeling so good inside. And when I let go, a deep sense of joy. We're gonna do that. That's good, no problem. Uh, do, do me put, put your hand on my hand, okay? And at the count of three, two, one, sleep, deep, deep, down, down, down. So, so calm, so, so relaxed. As you go back to that spot, as I let go, a deep sense of joy. Feeling so calm and so relaxed. Feeling so good emotionally, knowing everything's fine. Feeling so good about this moment, knowing that from this moment on, in every other moment, you start to change. You start to change because you're now changing things ahead of time. Ahead of time, into the future, you're actually scheduling things in the moment because you're more aware of things that are happening around you. From this point on, you start to actually get focused on scheduling, and it becomes something that becomes very easy for you to do something that you enjoy doing, that makes you feel better about yourself. And that is the thing that you wanted, and the thing that you perceived. And at the count of three, when I wake you up, feeling refreshed and alert, knowing that everything that I've said is completely stuck inside your mind. Three, two, one, waking up, feeling refreshed and alert. How are you doing? Good. Good. Good? Good? Uh -huh. Do you feel good? I feel good. Do you feel empowered? I feel a little bit confused. It's okay. That happens. That happens. Okay. Because you're going in and out of a conscious state, you're going into a subconscious and conscious state back and forth. Okay. So you feel a little woozy sometimes. But it's nothing to be alarmed about or nothing to be freaked out about. You're going to be perfect. It's like maybe waking up from a, a, a nap in the middle of the day. It's sort of kind of the same feeling. Okay. Am I right? Yes. Cool. Cool. And I don't ever take naps in the day. So yeah. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. Have a beautiful day, okay? Thank you. Cool. Bye. Bye. So now you've just uh, met Paul. Yes, and I did meet Paul. What did you think? Um, it seems uh, that was very interesting. Do you um, believe it? Did it seem fake? Did you did you feel like 
coaxed in any way? I didn't feel coaxed. I mean, I believed him. I think it was just maybe me and my ability to, to kind of go under is probably where, I, if I had any doubt, that was mm -hmm. probably what it was. Right. A, a, a little bit of uh, apprehension? Apprehensiveness? No, I didn't feel apprehensive. It just seemed so quick. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just like in and out, in and out. Right. Very, very quickly. Do you remember how long that no. you were out? No. Do you remember hearing sounds that were outside of Paul's voice? The second time, yes. Mm -hmm. Do you hear the buses? Cars, yeah, buses. Uh-huh. Yes. But still, did you feel uh, any in inability to want to move? No. Right? You felt very just safe where you were? Yeah. I mean, yes. I'm not trying to put words in your mouth. No, I mean, I felt, I did not feel like moving in any way. I didn't feel like... If anything, I felt like staying there. Really, that's really what one the one hour to shoot basically is. Uh, that was the first shot. The second shot is him coming up to you and me talking to you and saying, so I've kind of explained hypnosis to you. Do you mind if I hypnotize you? And then you say, yeah, sure, go ahead, and then I hypnotize you. I've kind of explained to you what this is all about. Um, do you mind if I hypnotize you? Sure. Is that okay? That's okay. Okay. Yeah. So, as long as you um, don't make me do anything. I, I won't. I promise. I would know. never do that. Okay. Um, if you put your uh, phone away, and okay. you're going to need to put your purse away, I just need you to put your hand on my hand. So, yeah, if you want, you can do that. Okay. okay. Put your hand right there. And I want you to press down. Okay. Stare at your hand. Press really hard. Take a deep breath. Close your eyes. Sleep, sleep down, down, deep, deep, deep. As you just start to relax more and more. And as I let go, you're going to do a deep, deep sleep. Feel very calm and relaxed, knowing that you're not going to fall down. And I stick to every word that I speak as you go deeper and deeper into a state of sleep. Each time I touch you on the floor, deep and deep. When I wake you up at the count of three, you'll feel refreshed and alert, but if I say the word sleep, you'll go right back to where you are or even deeper. And three, two, one, go wake up for me, feeling refreshing. Good? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm cool. okay. Casey, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Have a great day, okay? All right. So, Casey, you just met my friend Paul. Mm hmm And obviously you don't know us. Um, we've approached us <laughs> complete strangers in Culver City. True. What you just experienced, mm -hmm. how, how do you feel? I feel a little sleepy. Mm -hmm. um, I feel a little tingly, but besides mm -hmm. that, I feel fine. I'm good. Do you, uh, you're clear in your head and, and, and you don't feel like there was anything like, uh, you know, uh, advantageous or, or that you're all, you know, pure with your thoughts and... and... Yeah, I feel good. Everything okay. feels good, yeah. Good, good. I'm never really pure so, with my thoughts, but... Well, who is? <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.